In this example, we are going to see how to configure a time-based access list. First, I will go to router RTA. In this router, I will display the clock, what time it is. It is 5 p.m. 40 minutes. This is the actual time on the router. What I will do then, I'm going to configure the following time range. I will call it my time. And then I say, OK, this access list will be periodic. The time range that I'm developing here is periodic and on daily basis. Daily basis from uh, 17. Um, 44 let's say to 17 45 this is just for the purpose of the example right after that I will configure an access list it will be an extended access list to permit ICMP traffic from 170 to 1600 wildcard mask 000.255 to LAN 2 which is 172.31.0.0 with wildcard mask 000.0.255 when I finish okay uh, this rule alone is not sufficient I'm going to delete it and re-enter it again with the time range with time range my time I have to specify the time range the time range which is going to be uh, related to this rule in the access list now I will apply the access list to interface fast Ethernet 00 in the inbound direction access group 100 inbound direction right it works now let's check the configuration uh, well, this is the applied access list 100 in bound direction. This is my uh, access list, extended access list from network 172.16.0.0 to network 172.31.0.0. And here I specify the time range, which is uh, my time. This is the time range, my time that I uh, specified periodic daily on daily basis uh, between. 1744 to 1745 now the access list is uh, applied what I will do I will go to host 1 and try to ping host 3 and see what happens so now let's let's let me see the clock here show the clock all right now I ping 172.31 which is host 1 on n2 you see it is not working I do similar thing I ping to host uh, 2 on lane 2 host 4 sorry host 4 on lane 2 it is not working uh, similar thing I go to host 2 I try to ping 172.31.0.1 same situation and I ping host uh, 4 on lane 2 same situation so ping is not does not reach uh, the uh, destination host. Let's check the clock now. It is almost uh, 44. So I come back to host one, right? Host one. What I do? I'm going to ping. Uh, the target will be 172.31.0.1. Uh, for example, 10,000 time and see what happens. So now ping shows that host uh, 3 on LAN 2 is unreachable from host 1 on LAN 1. It is unreachable because it is not allowed. The access list does not allow ping message to reach host 2 because the time has not come yet. And we see that unreachable uh, is there, still that the time is uh, it did not come is not there so we're going to wait for some time and see now as you can see after i paused the uh, record i resumed the record now and you see that 
host 1 is able to reach host 3 on LAN 2. I will stop this, otherwise it will take a lot of time. So it's okay. I, I will go to host 2 and from host 2 I will try to ping host 3 on LAN 2. Now it is reachable. I will ping to host 3 on LAN 2. It's okay, it's fine. I go back to host 1. Right? I will ping host 4 on LAN 2. Oh, sorry, I have to type the keyword, the command ping. Now it works. Let's go to router RTA. I type the, I display the access list, and this is the access list. So now the the time based access list is active, and as proof, you have 1,517 match. So if I type the time range that I uh, entered previously, I see that it will be active only between this time and this one. 544 to 545 after that the access list will be inactive you see it is inactive now i go back again to host one from host one i try to ping host uh, four on lane two or host one on lane two it is unreachable thank you for viewing this example this is hakim adish bye